Good morning. So I flew back from Barcelona last night and now I am just at L'Oreal HQ getting my hair done doing a really exciting shoot today. So we're going to start with some breakfast and a green juice. I'm just with Carly. Say hi. Look how beautiful these tubes are. This is what's going to be colouring my hair. Say goodbye to this hair for the next a few weeks. I just got drenched in the rain, which is why it looks like this, but I'm just about to go and have a before shot for my before picture. So me and Carly have our colour on. Carly is going full head. This washes out after four weeks. It's something that you get done in yeah. salon and it washes it's out. Go more um, but yeah, they look quite bright now. I have like a peachy orange and a light pink, but they mix it with a clear colour and then it goes like really nice and pastel. It's called like pastelage. Is this one coming out? Oh no, that's just showing it. Ah. That is so cute. How exciting. So a little bit more pink. Yeah, so it's just gonna come out and be like really balayage as well. So I'm excited for the big reveal. Like a sorbet. I know, I'm gonna Ooh. look like a peach princess. Done. My curls have completely dropped out sadly. I have the kind of hair where it just completely drops out. Maybe it's because it's so well conditioned after putting this in. So this just washes out um, in like a few weeks. But yeah, my hair has completely dropped. I'm gutted because it was nice and curly. Um, so now I just went to meet Matt um, and we are just at Wagamama's having some lunch. Good morning guys so my hair is still peachy my curls have completely gone literally look how straight my hair is um i'm wearing my new sunglasses from world duty free which i love so we stayed at matt's house last night just because it's closer um to london so it was a closer drive for us and driving all the way back to leeds um i have a few meetings today in leeds and then i think i'm gonna go home um so yeah, I'm also going to go and get a blow dry and a treatment today on my hair, but my hair feels really soft anyway. I'm loving this rose goldness, although I think that because the hairdresser didn't put much colour in, they said it may wash out after one wash. So this might be the end of the pinkiness, um, so we'll see what happens. So we'll see what happens with that. I'm not really in the mood to do any meetings because I just had an upsetting phone call but you gotta do what you gotta do so I am gonna go and get a blow dry and have some meetings and then go home and hopefully for the gym as well today that would be really good you are like a summer breeze that I must inhale is it possible for us to feel this way forever loving you never felt more right Is 
6 a.m. and I'm just at the train station about to head to get my train to London for an exciting shoot, but I hate getting the train this early because it's far too tiring. I am just in Shoreditch with Reebok. I've just had my makeup done. It's very neutral um, and I just got this box. So I'm going to open it and show you the new city collection. I'm so excited. Also, look how nice this view is. How beautiful is that? So we are just on location. I got my hair done and it's nice and curly. It's dropped a little bit. I don't know what's wrong with my hair at the moment and why it keeps dropping. So we're just at the Barbican Centre. And yeah, so this is Reebok's new kit. I'm wearing loads of coats, by the way, to keep you warm. Look how amazing this gym kit is. So this is the city kit. Oh my gosh, I'm actually in love with it. So it's a little bit cold, but not too cold. Um, it's fine once we're shooting. So you can come and have a little behind the scenes look at me shooting. It's a wrap and I've got a friend with me. Hello, this is Fudge. Hello. Mwah. He is so cute. Aren't you? <laughs> Doggy cuddles done and now it is lunch time. I just arrived back in Leeds after a whirlwind day of shooting for Reebok and I just got off the train. I'm in Leeds because I have to do some work tomorrow at home home and then I just went to Marks and Spencer's and got snacks for dinner so I'm going to show you. So sticking to the Barcelona theme, we got some prosciutto, some handcrafted chicken and pandanas, some guacamole, breaded ham, olive bread, rips, my obsession at the moment. These were cheaper than olives, so I got the sack because I need cheese too. And then some eggs. Bon appetit. Good morning, world. Let me just turn this music down. Um, I fell asleep last night after we ate the amazing feast. I literally fell asleep at eight o'clock midway through celebs go dating so paul matt's gonna have to watch that again with me my favorite show and i fell asleep during it um and then i woke up too hot in my gym kit i fell asleep in all my makeup and gym kit by the way <gasps> sorry we're going over speed bumps en route to the gym this morning and then i slept about 14 hours all the way through till 10 o'clock this morning woke up and said to matt Oh, is it Sunday or is it Monday? I was so confused, but I've put a brush through my hair and put a little bit of makeup on and oh my God, these speed bumps. David Lloyd, please get rid of them. They kill me every single time. Um, <laughs> do you drive fast on them on purpose? I'm sure you do. Oh my gosh, what is that car doing? Um, Jeez. So yeah, we're at the gym now, but we haven't actually eaten. Matt didn't have any food in his house, so we're gonna eat. Gym, maybe gym, eat, not sure, hungry. Um, and then, yes, you've got a spot really close to the entrance. This is like car karaoke, yep, gonna work out, then I'm gonna go home, got lots to shoot. By the way, look at my hair, the pink's gone. It's kind of gone, there's still a bit of a tinge, because um, I had a treatment when I went to Sassoon for my blow dry, um, and I've washed it a few times since it has kind of come out, because I had such a light colour on my, gosh, my hair feels amazing. So you can see my hair feels so long and smooth, I'm so happy, so yeah, it is gym time.
we are done. Very successful workout. Oh, very sweaty. Then I need to actually go and do some work. So I'm trying to drink more water as well. Hence the big water bottle. Um, we're gonna go have some food now at David Lloyd. And then it's time to do some work. I am home. I am gonna go jump in the shower in a minute, but I just wanted to show you a few things that have arrived. This is not only beautiful, but so amazing. It says, be happy, be bright, be you. And what it is, is it's a collaboration with the Tabitha Webb and Avon. Three pounds from every bag purchase goes towards Refuge and Women's Aid, which I think is really lovely, and that's by Avon. This from Beauty Blender, which is absolutely amazing. I've always wondered how to clean them, and this comes with the travel friendly cleaner how good is that and you get the little sponges and i had no idea that the mini one is perfect for contouring highlighting and under eyes and you get a little box how good is that bits from origins um and they've given us some stuff from the happy happiness planet how lovely is this look at these pencils origins is one of my favorite brands ever and this is so positive and lovely this is just beautiful have to excuse my face i'm like horrendously gym Jimmed out, I look horrendous. So I don't know if I told you, but last week, gosh, this sunlight's bright. Last week, I was meant to go to an amazing event, a new L'Oreal brand, which I've never heard of before, called Botanicals at Fresh Care. I was really ill, so I had to miss it. But they sent me the parcel, and oh my gosh, look at this, it's amazing. This is a personalized dip deep candle that they got made. How amazing is this? Diptyque is one of my favourite brands and this literally makes my life. Right, dun dun dun. How incredible do these hair products look? Wow. A huge thank you to Botanicals for sending that because I'm gutted that I had to miss the event. I get major FOMO. I hate missing amazing things. So that's really lovely. I'm going to take these to Miami with me. These products just look incredible. Oh, leaving cream for unruly hair. Keep watching because I will use these soon. Oh, I just noticed a bit of pink in my hair still. Yeah, I can't wait to pamper with these. So my parcels arrived from Miami. I have lots of new clothes. So I'm going to London tomorrow tomorrow and then we fly on Friday so I'm just trying on some more new bits that I got let's try it on look the pink comes in my hair when it's light um, now I am just gonna pack. So I'm unpacking from Barcelona whilst keeping some things in the case, and then I'm packing for Miami. Let's do this. So I'm just with Matt. Finally drove back to Matt's and now we are just quickly grabbing some food before a long night of getting some work done before I head back to London and then to Miami tomorrow. We got this amazing box from Feel Unique, the best of beauty box. Look how gorgeous these products are. I've actually been using this cleanser from John Lewis but this is a body oil. A cordially spray, which I love for summer. Skin Iceland is one of my favourite brands for travel. I haven't used Jelly for years. And Decure, which is perfect for summer. How amazing. So I'm back in London, I didn't actually film any of my journey and I hoped to film it all but the reason I didn't film it is because I've had a disastrous journey so I'll quickly tell you without dampening the mood. All trains were cancelled from Leeds to London which is just ridiculous so I had to go to Manchester, it took me an hour, stood up the whole way then I had five minutes to rush across the platform to get the train from Manchester to London which then took another two and a half hours. I had two huge suitcases for Miami because I'm going tomorrow, I had to carry them upstairs, across, downstairs, it was just disastrous. Then we missed our blow dries. I we took like an hour taxi to Chelsea, went to Blush and Blow. I got a blow dry. I'm just with Scarlett. 
and they wouldn't let Scarlett get a blow dry because we were too late, which is just ridiculous. I was so upset and I was just like, we've literally paid so much in Uber to get all the way over here, but it was the traffic and the train delay, so Virgin Trains messed me around today. So now, finally, it's nine o'clock, we are just in Yosushi and that's the light at the end of the tunnel because I am so happy because I didn't know that Yosushi did take away and Scarlett told me and we just get in our big bags now full of Yosushi and we're gonna eat it on the train to Scarlett's then have a nice calm evening doing a bit of work then we're gonna sleep because we're up at six I also just had a very positive phone call with a family member who's not very well so that's a positive and it puts life into perspective so it's sushi time Carla's kindly carrying my bags for me. Um, I look horrendous. This is what happens when you've taken you about six hours to get to London. So yeah, we're gonna get the train now to Scarlet's and then it's time for a Miami vlog. I just got Scarlet's and I'm gonna go to sleep now and then we are in Miami in the morning so keep watching all my social feeds to catch up with Miami and I have a Barcelona vlog coming your way and a Miami one. See you soon!